Hey everybody out in YouTube land, I'm just going to do a quick uh, unboxing and review of the Cypress uh, Skates by Verbero. It's I ordered the Retro Brown. I did look a lot on YouTube and online for reviews and I didn't see any at all. I couldn't find literally a single Verbero review on the skates, so uh, I felt it uh, maybe it was my obligation to finally be somebody to do one. So let's see how it goes here. Uh, right away you got the extra set of tongs, that's kind of cool, They're, so you can customize them a bit. Uh, first thing I notice right away, as soon as I pick up the uh, skate, you guys, is it is pretty heavy. Definitely feels a lot heavier than I have my Bauer Supreme 1S here. Oh yeah, it's like... Wow, like I almost want to say double as heavy. That'd be maybe a little excessive, but it feels a lot heavier. Um, as far as overall quality, uh, the skate kind of feels like, to be perfectly honest, it does feel a little on the cheap side. More like, kind of like a novelty item almost. Like, I'm not even, I don't want to bash them at all, but it definitely doesn't feel like something that I would want to be taking a puck from a slap shot in like I can literally push the side in with my thumb right here uh, actually when I ordered these I I thought the quarter package like the boot part area here was carbon fiber I didn't read thoroughly enough so it's definitely not it's just like vinyl it feels like something you would definitely not want to take a slap shot from uh, with a puck at all maybe like it just feels look at, like it would be pretty painful if you did uh, yeah, it's like you can have a look here. I can pretty much squeeze that right to the each eyelet. Uh, that's definitely not a good sign. This boot has this has not been heat molded yet. This one, so um, yeah, that's overall just by just by glancing at these and checking them out for the first time. Uh, I was definitely expecting a little better. But, I mean, when you think about it, if I convert the price that I paid with these for the shipping, the American dollar to Canadian dollar, I could have got uh, one of the lower end, you know, skates like Bauer or CCM or something like that. I probably would have paid just a little less for the, uh, the more similar or the more familiar brand and knowing I had a product that I could definitely uh, trust. These, I think I'm literally going to just use for if I go skating on a pond or some kind of fun shinny hockey where I'm not going to really be shooting a puck around. I'd be a little uh, a little nervous about playing with these with any kind of you know good shooting players going against me because holy smokes that would hurt. Yeah I think these are more suited for like rollerblade. I think that's what the company started as was a rollerblade company. These would be okay to take a you know like something not as heavy as a puck but yeah. Overall, though, they look kind of cool. It's more of a novelty item, but I mean, after taxes and the conversion of the US dollar, I think I paid like just under two, 250. Uh, I might be wrong on that. I definitely know it was over 200 though. Uh, so like I said, I could have got something just local and a name I already knew and trusted. I did really like the, the look of that brown, but once I actually feel it, it's literally just like a nylon. It's definitely not leather at all. Um, I don't know, the blade looks okay, comes sharpened already, I can tell that, it's definitely a really sharp blade, the uh, pre sharpened blade, that's the only skate I think I've ever bought that's had that. Um, the nylon, or the uh, plaid on the inside though looks kind of cool, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's a little bit of a plaid color in there, pattern. Yeah, overall, I don't know, I'd, if, I, if I was you guys out in uh, YouTube land there on the fence about buying them and wanting to use them for actual ice hockey, I would definitely not do that. If you just want them for what I'm going to be using them for, then hey, what the hell, support a local company, but uh, just don't go against any good shooting players because you're going to be sore if you take a shot off one of these skates. Cheers.